Southwest Georgia. Are you ready for the 42nd annual Sunbelt Ag Expo? Stay tuned right here for everything you need to know. The Sunbelt Ag Expo preview show starts right now. Well, can you believe it is already time for the 2019 Sunbelt Ag Expo in Moultrie, Georgia? And here we're going to be talking about everything you need to know before the big expo. So today we have Becca Turner as well as Chip Laylock. You know them very well to talk everything about Ag Expo. So what do people need to know? Well, this is the 42nd annual Sunbelt Ag Expo. It starts on October the 15th, which is a Tuesday and lasts through the 17th on Thursday. Um, we hope everyone comes out and brings all of their family with them um, to celebrate everything ag that we'll be offering at the expo this year. Obviously you have vendors, you have exhibitors, and obviously all these people coming. Um, what new can we expect this year? Kubota is venturing into the 200 plus horsepower tractor market with their new M8 tractor. They'll have in a static display and probably work running in the fields also. Kelly Manufacturing has, is perfecting a stalk shredder puller um, tillage machine that works in cotton, corn, and vegetables that, you know, after you pick cotton and you pick corn, you still got the stalks in the field and it turns those under where we can only make, only have to make one pass and it's more environmentally friendly and it also helps us control our nematode population in our soil. I'm seeing some of that right now. They're doing some of that harvesting and you're still seeing some of those uh, stocks out there in the yeah. field. And obviously this is a great time to see some of that new um, equipment and different things that they're going to have out there. Uh, why is it so important for people to come out every year? Well, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about technology today, but as Chip mentioned, there's so much that all companies have to offer, like the ones he mentioned. Um, we, we don't have, you know, always lots of new vendors, but the vendors that do come offer lots of new products um, from the family living building to the agribusiness buildings, um, to, certainly to learn about ag, but to learn about everything that maybe impacts the ag industry. Lots of educational seminars, demonstrations um, that people can come out and, and learn. The, the real mission of the Expo is education, and certainly that's what we hope to promote through the new and then tying it back to how things worked before. Education for sure. I know I learned a lot last year. I'm looking forward to learning even more this year. Uh, but you guys also do a lot for the farmers and with the farmers. Um, and Farmer of the Year, you have big awards there as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? It's the 30th anniversary of the Swisher Sweet Sunbud Expo Southeastern Farmer of the Year program. Um, it's an honor for us to roll out the red carpet for those 10 farm families that come to the show. Um, on Tuesday at the Expo Luncheon, there will be one winner. But this program is about telling the news of agriculture. We tell each of the state winners they'll have nine new friends all over the Southeast. This year, the 265 that came before them, it's a, basically a program with a two-fold mission. Number one, to recognize excellence in agriculture. And number two, to bring recognition to the American farmers, the ones in the Southeast that are near and dear to our heart, for continuing to produce that safe, abundant, economical supply of food, fiber, and shelter. Just a wonderful program honoring wonderful people. How do you guys narrow down to those 10 farmers with their families and then get down to that farmer of the year? Each state in Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Kentucky, Virginia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Tennessee select their state winner. They provide those to us by June the 1st. And then around the 1st of August, we do a farm tour, 10 farms in five days. And the 1st of August, it's an incredible trip. And we have a team of three judges that go around and we interview, tour, and at the end of the week, they have selected a winner. And it's an honor for us to bestow this recognition. And, um, you know, it's kind of cool to see the things that they've done with their prize money over the years, you know, donated to scholarships, downtown restorations in their hometown. Um, there's lots of great stories over the 30 years of the Farmer of the Year program. Someone will be taking home that top spot. Yes, they will. All right, stay right here with us. We have just scratched the surface on everything you need to know for the Ag Expo, so stay right here with us. As you're preparing him for the future, teach him the important things in life, like the fact that in the South, football is everything and that green is the only color to get the job done. It's football season, which means it's time to spend more time cheering on your favorite team. Even though we cheer for different teams, this season we can all agree on one team, 
Lassiter Game Day, Lassiter Every Day. Creating something special takes a lot of hard work. Farmers know this. At the Sunbelt Ag Expo, we're working year-round to bring you North America's premier farm show. Gonna do a cold air intake and exhaust is a must-have. My truck is where my day starts and where it ends. I'm really tough on my truck. Some people drive their trucks. Others use them. Tough trucking. Take pride in your ride. Welcome back. I have Becca Turner here to talk more about the Ag Expo and how it's more than just a farm show. This is something that's for everyone. Everyone can find something that they like or that's educational for them at the Expo. What are some of the highlights that you uh, look forward to every year? You know, as you mentioned, there's so much to Expo. Um, certainly, we, we draw lots of farmers and farm families, but we encourage everyone um, to come to the Expo the entire family, children all the way up um, to all ages. So we encourage everyone to come. Some big highlights. The sustainable living area has been a highlight for many years, but it has a new face this year. Um, Farmer Fredo from Flint River Fresh, which is a native of Albany, he, he will be with us um, and has completely transformed our sustainable living garden. Certainly there will be lots of demonstrations that he does, as well as new educational seminars. Um, he's got some things on pollinators and how to, you know, rotate soil efficiently in small areas. Um, all different demonstrations and, and educational seminars that he's going to offer. Um, and another big area will be the Georgia Grown area. We've got two different places that Georgia Grown is really featured. Um, one of those is the Georgia Ag Building, the Georgia Ag Building and the Georgia Farm Bureau Building. Georgia Grown has a cooking stage um, in that building and they've got lots of Georgia Grown um, I guess products, if you will, that they that they feature and make themselves. Chef Holly Shute, as well as some of her other staff, will be with her to cook at that stage. Um, and then the Georgia Grown area that is in family living is being enhanced this year okay. to feature more Georgia Grown vendors, um, to have a really highlighted area that is just for them, and then a new and enhanced stage, which will be cutting the ribbon on. Um, Tuesday morning the 15th. First thing, um, they will be the first ribbon that we cut. So we're really excited about that. Um, what's really exciting for their area is that we've got some really notable chefs mm -hmm. um, that will be featured. Holly Shute will actually cook with First Lady Marty Kemp. Nice. Um, many people are aware that she has worked very hard to turn the governor's mansion into a Georgia grown kitchen. Mm -hmm. So they will be featured as the first uh, kickoff um, group, if you will. And then we've got lots of other chefs that will be there as far as our, including Larlin Carter, um, Jack Russell, he's a chef from Georgia that will be there. Other, the, the school um, farm to table nutrition program will be with us, um, as well as some others, Laura um, Pavasana, which is from here with the Italian wooden spoon. Mm -hmm. um, Stripling's general store will be with us featuring certified Angus beef, as well as pork and how to cut pork. So they will actually have a butcher on hand to help showcase that. So lots of exciting things at those, those cooking stages. Well, that's awesome. I've eaten some food from every one of the chefs that you have just named. And if you don't come for anything else, come for the food because they are awesome. And Georgia Grown has grown so much featuring the products and crops and different things that are made right here um, in the state of Georgia. So that's awesome. Um, and then lastly, uh, the youth challenges that you guys have. Yes, the youth challenges, uh, youth opportunities are offered specifically on Wednesday. We encourage youth to come every day, but specifically there are two really big opportunities for them to participate in. One is through Farm Credit. with They have some um, ag contests that are that you actually have to prepare before you come to Expo, but they're featured and judged on Wednesday. And then the Youth Educational Challenges actually occur on Wednesday. Okay. All students, 6th through 12th grade, are invited to participate. 4-H, um, FFA, homeschool students, youth groups, it does not matter. 
just matters what your interests are. We have a floral design contest, um, which is a big attractant for students. And then we have a horticulture ID contest, wildlife ID, forestry ID, animal science ID, and then a tool and mechanics ID contest. It takes the students about 15 minutes to participate. They can participate in all of them if they would like to. And the good part about it is they can win cash, cash that goes straight to them. Um, and so we encourage all groups to come out and make sure that they encourage their students to participate in those. Um, even if you just come with your family, you can yeah. sign up. You don't have to come as a group. Well, the students are the future, and you talked about the education. It just keeps coming up, and that is just the, one of the most important yes. things as well. Education is the mission of the Expo, and we hope that we can do that for all ages. Perfect. Thanks so much, Becca. All right, stay right here with us. Much more coming up. Got spoiled corn? Corn stuck to your bin walls. Not sure when to run your fans. See Stanilan and Sons about the bin manager system by Intella Farms and solve these problems. Designing and installing grain storage and drying facilities on farms since 1976. From start to finish, providing a complete turnkey installation. Specializing in shivers dryers and GSI grain bins, as well as the Hutchison Transport Auger line. Integrate your old system to a new state-of-the-art drying system. Call today for an estimate. It's that time of year again. Time to embrace our community. Time for individual preparation to pay off and collective performance to reach new heights. So we join together and work to strengthen our bonds. Because it takes a community to achieve greatness. Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance, always the home team. Tough, versatile, and easy to use. If you're looking for equipment to tackle tough jobs, choose Bobcat Compact Equipment. Bobcat machines are reliable, comfortable, and get the job done fast. Power through your toughest jobs with ease. Bobcat Compact Equipment, one tough animal. Visit Southern Sales and Rentals to see the Bobcat lineup at Lot 75 C3 at the Sunbelt Expo. Well, Chip Blaylock is back as well as Cody Mitchell, the farm manager out there. Obviously, so much going on at the Ag Expo, but a lot of people want to know what's going on out in the field. So, what can we expect to see this year? Fields is what sets us apart on our research farm. We spend the whole 12 months throughout the year doing world-class research in cotton, peanuts, corn, soybeans, and Bermuda grass. We actually harvest those crops during the show, except for maybe corn and soybeans, but we do tillage demonstrations in those, those um, crops. You can see the harvesting in cotton and peanuts and the hay harvesting. And um, I'm gonna let Cody go in a little more in depth. <laughs> yes, Cody, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so uh, actually year round we operate like any other normal farm. Um, and then we try and uh, make those crops work out perfect for those three days for us to shine, right? Yeah. Um, so we do, uh, like Chip was saying, um, all the hay demos um, from cutting, tedding, raking, and baling. And what sets us apart is you can go out and see eight, 10, maybe even 12 different pieces of equipment, different manufacturers running at one time. Um, so that is a awesome experience to come out and check out. Uh, we harvest peanuts um, and we also harvest cotton during the, um, during the expo. So you have all of the main drivers that we're looking forward to um, in our area that bring in so much money. Yes, yes, that's right. Um, it's awesome uh, watching all the new technology um, out in the fields and you know you can go up to the static exhibits and uh, check everything out there but then if you want to see something running in the field you know a serious buyer you can go out uh, take a look if you've never seen anything um, ag you know running in the field come out check it out uh, we love to have everybody out in the field. It's awesome to see something that you don't normally see as well. Right. Uh, talk to me about working and seeing and talking to some of the other farmers. Uh, it's great, you know, we get questions year round. Hey, I heard you guys have this uh, research plot out there. You have this, you know, come out, check it out. Um, we'd love to have everybody out. All right, let's talk to me about the tram. And if you've not ridden out there, what are you missing? I tell you what, our tram system is um, demo specific that we send the trams to and all those demonstrations that Cody just described. And, you know, it's just a great opportunity. You know, you can see videos on the internet and YouTube but to come to the show like the Expo and you can actually see it working in the fields, talk to the company reps, you know, on the hay demos, you can see the bales coming out of the back of the baler, yeah. you know, go up, 
touch them, feel them, smell them, see which one produces the tightest bell, so to speak. Um, you know, it's really a great week of show and tell for everything in ag technology. I feel like it almost should go without saying, but why is it important to see some of these things out in the field and say, oh, maybe that's what I need to have on my field? You know, it's, it's very important for the farmer to keep up with technology so they can continue to produce that safe, economical, abundant supply of food, fiber, and shelter. Um, our profit margins continue to be tight and anything that they can glean at the expo that'll help them become even more environmentally and economically sustainable, that's what we're all about. Perfect, so you guys talked about the different demos and different things that are be going on. Uh, what are the key times to remember when you're out there um, at the expo? So the farm kicks off around 10 o'clock. Um, we'll start with our hay demos and tillage. And then um, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every day at 1230, we will start picking cotton. And then at one o'clock, we will go into the peanuts. Uh, but make sure you plan your day out. Go on our app, check it out, our times, because not everything is exactly running at the same time. So we want to make sure you can get around and see everything that you want to see and definitely don't want you to miss anything out on the farm. You can go to your Droid store or App Store, Sunbelt Ag Expo 2019. If you still have the app from 2018, you simply refresh it and it'll come up 2019. All the demo times are in there across the board and there's so much going on, it's really good if you can plan your um, visit ahead of time to optimize your visit while you're there. I did that last year. I just refreshed my app this year and it really does help so you can see everything right there at your fingertips and not have to wonder because Spencefield is huge and all, everything that's going on, you want to make sure you're getting exactly what you need. We'll still have the show program at the entrance gates when you come in also. Perfect. Last question, personal question. What's your favorite crop? Um, I would say probably peanuts. Peanuts? Yes. All right. Well, I like to eat boiled peanuts, so that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Stay right here with us. Much more coming up. Everything you need to know about the Ag Expo and Moultrie. Stay with us. Over the years, farming has had a lot of changes. But through the years, two things have remained the same. The importance of agricultural in our community and Draven and Tucker's commitment to supporting the people and businesses that bring so much to our community. Named 2018 Best of Accounting Award winner, the professionals at Draffin & Tucker can provide a comprehensive range of agricultural accounting and taxation services that will give you the confidence to develop your business. At Draffin & Tucker, this is what we call a tradition. Rinky Innovation saves you time and money because we're stronger, smarter, efficient, and just downright better. With high strength steel, touchscreen control panels, the RainCloud platform to manage and control irrigation on any smart device and longer warranties. A Rinky will help you get the job done like no other because we're stronger and smarter. We're Rinky. Learn more at Rinky.com. All right, welcome back. We've talked about crops and agriculture as well as the Ag Expo, but you can't talk about that without livestock and animals. They almost go hand in hand. Uh, so Chip, let's talk about some of the livestock we'll see out there. You know, another cornerstone of our show is our livestock section with all the demonstrations going on, whether it be beef cattle management and forages, um, the dairy section where we do dairy management. We have the all female cow milking contest this year. Georgia, Florida, Auburn, and ABAC will have participants. It's a lot of fun. We also have the horse section where we have clinician Wade Black brought to us by the George Equine um, Commodity Commission, um, Booger Brown and Annalise um, Granger, a trick um, rider with horses. In addition to all that, we have the poultry section where we have poultry seminars going on. We have the sheep and goats where we have seminars and demos going on. We have the catfish and aquaponics and we have the casting demos over in the fish ponds. Just a lot going on back there in the livestock section on the northeast corner of the grounds. That's perfect. So you can learn um, not only about your farm, but also about your animals and the latest with that, mm -hmm. um, the things that they come out with the animals, because they come out with technology for them as well. All the time, whether it's vaccines, whether it's um, the chips that we put in to keep our pets identified, um, you know, any number of things mm -hmm. that's going on. All right, talk about uh, stock dog trails that you have going on. Stock dog trials have been going on since 1988. Um, Jim Shepard here in Albany, Bronwood, um, helps coordinate those trials for us. 
Um, Tom Ferdell was a longtime leader right from right here and, and I, actually in Broadwood also. Um, he's not able to run anymore. Um, but it's a great opportunity to see Border Collies herding sheep through the course. Mm. We call it edutainment, where you can get <laughs> education and be entertained at the same time. The Border Collies and their handlers have a special relationship and the dogs are so athletic and so smart. It's just amazing to see them herd those sheep through the course. In addition to the stock dog trials, we have the antique tractor section where we have the parade daily at two o'clock. So we've got a lot going on other than the traditional row crops. That's interesting. I want to make sure um, I catch that this year. Um, and then Cody, we talked earlier with Becca about education and how this all kind of ties in. Um, you have a lot of colleges that are going to be out there. Yes, we do. We actually have seven that are going to be there. Um, Georgia, Florida, Clemson, Auburn, Fort Valley, Florida A&M, and our local ABAC. Um, all right there on site in the mix of everything with the ag going on. Um, how often can you go see seven colleges like this all at one time in the same day? It's a perfect opportunity. Uh, so when you stop by and talk to those colleges, students and parents, uh, what should they be looking forward to or talking to them about? You know, well, especially if they're into the ag. I mean, there's everything around is ag. Um, everyone um, with the college involved in ag is going to be there. Um, so it's a great opportunity to come and get a first on-hand experience and, and learn the differences between these colleges and what their pros and cons are and help make a decision all at one time. Right, that, especially if you already know that's what you want to do, go ahead and get that taken care of so you can go ahead and start with the application processes and all of that. Um, and then Chip, we have uh, the Titan Tire Auctions. Can you talk about that as well? This will be the 14th year of the Titan Tire Auction benefiting Georgia FFA. We've raised close to $500,000 over the last 13 years. Um, that will take place on Wednesday at one o'clock. Okay. So the farmers throughout the region, if you want to come get some good deals on tires and support a great organization, Wednesday at one o'clock is the time for you to come to the Sunbelt Expo and um, take part in that. Uh, we also have the Youth Educational Challenges going on on Wednesday throughout the day. Um, we will host for the first time the Georgia State FFA Tractor Driving Contest. Um, that'll be on Wednesday also. We've got a lot going on on Wednesday this year. In addition to the Q-Fest barbecue cook-off with the young farmers and we'll culminate it that evening with the young farmer um, event there in the mall hangar. Perfect. Thanks guys so much. So something for everyone, like we said earlier, especially the youth. So be sure to bring them out there um, as well. Stay right here with us. Much more coming up after the break. With payments as low as $60 per month, Battery Source has the perfect Easy Go golf cart for you and your family. Visit BatterySource.com to view our online Easy Go showroom, apply for financing, and locate the store nearest you. Did you know there's a much healthier animal feed available? SM Farms in Pelham produces non GMO flame roasted animal feeds. SM Farms rack em up flame roasted deer feeds, increase energy by 13% and promotes antler growth and has an aroma that deer love. Visit s and Farms at the Sunbelt Ag Expo in Building 3 and get free deer feed samples. Check out our website for our new healthy animal feed by Verity. Welcome back. As you know, we are talking all things Sunbelt Ag Expo. For you to know everything that's going on, uh, Becca and Chip joining me back again. You guys spotlight a state every year. What state is that this year? The great state of North Carolina, from the mountains to the sea, <laughs> an abundance of agriculture, everything from Christmas trees to traditional row crops, produce, fruits and vegetables, you name it. Um, they're looking forward to showcasing their agriculture to the world that comes to the Sunbelt Expo. And um, we're looking forward to shining the Sunbelt spotlight on the great state of North Carolina. That's perfect. I think that's great that you guys do that. Um, Becca, 
What are some tips to make sure you have a great visit? Well, we've already mentioned the app. Mm -hmm. It is imperative that if you have the capability to download the app, it just makes your visit super seamless and easy. You can download it now, as we mentioned, from the App Store um, or from the, if you have a Droid, you can um, download it as well. It's Update free. your app, it's free. Um, one of the great things besides a map and the certain sessions and demonstrations that are going on that are mentioned in the app are all of the wonderful places to eat. Yes. Um, <laughs> we have lots of 4-H and um, FFA booths that set up as well as other county agent groups that set up. Um, anything that you can imagine for eating is pretty much at the Expo from sweets uh, to anything savory. And then we've been talking about the delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwiches yes. that are grilled, <laughs> that are offered at the Georgia Peanut Commission. Lots of food to pay for, but also lots of giveaway food mm -hmm. and um, things that you can sample. Um, I know certain booths have been reaching out to me talking about offering bold peanuts for sample, um, just small, small things that people can have. But certainly we want you to visit the catfish area and get free catfish samples. So all of that stuff is on the app. Um, plan your visit in advance and the website as well. If you don't want to download the app, uh, then visit our website, plan from our interactive map. There is an interactive map that, that shows you where each booth is, um, each setup is, um, and then most of those actually you can go into there and it will show you what they'll be doing. They have a write-up about what all is going on at their booth. So that's, that's super helpful. Yeah, you definitely uh, smell all of that while you're walking around. You uh, have all the food smells there. Um, so October 15th, 16th, and 17th, that's Tuesday through Thursday at Spence Field in Moultrie. Um, what about tickets and pricing? Gates open at 8.30 daily. You can buy your tickets at the gate for $10 or through uh, October the 11th at midnight. You can buy your tickets online at a discounted rate, whether you're buying for individuals or groups. It's a great time for the farmers to come out, um, see the latest technology, and again, gather information in life, make life better on the farm. There's so much to see, so much out there. Is there a way to see it all? You know, we hope that you can see it all. We encourage you certainly to come more than one day. You can actually buy a, the three-day ticket. Um, at a discounted price of, of $20. Um, but if you can only be there in one day, the best thing to do is to plan in advance. You know, what are your must-see um, stops? You know, do you want to go to the field demos? Do you want to make sure that you see the latest tractors or the, you know, the latest technology that's available at one of the, you know, building companies? Right. Um, do you want to make sure that you visit with Farmer Fredo and Sustainable Living? Are you a, a student and wants to make sure that you get by to see one of the colleges or universities that are there? You know, work with some of those colleges and universities, you know, starting to put your name out for scholarships. Most of them have admission counselors there that can help you with all of those things. Are you there to, you know, look for something related to your home um, that you right. want to purchase in the family living building? Do you want to try to visit with some of the chefs that are on hand during the week? You know, whatever it is that you want to do, you just need to plan in advance. Perfect. Any last words? Bring clothing for three seasons during Expo Week, summer, fall, and winter, and throw your rain boots in just in case. Hopefully the weather's going to be beautiful this year, but you never know in October. That's true. Thanks, guys, so much. Uh, be sure to come on out there to Moultrie for the Sunbelt Ag Expo. We'll all be out there, and we look forward to seeing you there as well.